Hi everybody! Welcome to Makeup and Magic. I'm trying something different for the background. It's just a scrap of cloth that I threw over the um, the blinds track. So you can see it's got some holes in it, but I'm going to trim it down. Anyway, welcome to Makeup and Magic. Uh, today I'm doing a green look and uh, I have my accessory which I'll show off when I'm all done. I'm so excited. It's so cute. Um, yeah. And today's topic, because it's been coming up for me a lot lately, is um, religious abuse. And I don't mean, when I say religious abuse, I'm not talking about, hold on a minute, there we go. I'm not talking about just the Christian faith. I'm talking about all faiths. Judaism, Christianity, Catholicism, Paganism, Wiccanism, you know, what have you, any of them. Um, and, and the reason why I want to bring this up is because I've encountered this in the past, and I'm not, this, this isn't calling anybody out. Um, it's something that's been coming up for me a lot lately and uh, stemming back from different points of my past, um, having experienced it. So what I'm going to talk about is just basically um, what I've witnessed without, you know, I'm not going to name names, I'm not going to gender anybody I'm just you know this is an example of things that I've encountered uh, yeah so anyway let's get started um, I'm going to use my primer first and I'm going to be using my phone for the most part as my mirror except when I've got my my eyes to do then I'm gonna actually be holding up a mirror and, and trying to look into it and whatnot so I'm gonna try to stay within the frame um, just because of where I'm trying to position this and everything, it's really difficult for me to get the, the shot I want and have it be uh, horizontal. Um, but I will try and mess around in the future and try and get like a better, you know, maybe some wider cloth or something. Anyway, yeah. So I'm going to do the primer first. I'm using the No Pour Blemo. No Pour, no pour Blem. Sorry. So, you know, I've, I've experienced, um, when I was a teen, um, I've experienced religious abuse, um, not, and when I say religious abuse, I'm not talking about just sexual abuse, although that is a huge percentage of that. I'm also talking about mental abuse, emotional abuse, stem, you know, but using the religious faith to do that, or religion or faith to do that. <clears throat> Which I find interesting, especially among pagans. Well, not pagans in general, but Wiccans specifically. People who identify as Wiccan specifically. Um, when I see them doing stuff like that, it really just kind of, you know, it, it's, it, to me it's, it's completely hypocritical because their whole faith is based on the concept of harm none. And, you know, they aren't just talking about physical when they're doing that, so... What did I just do? Oh, I don't need that. I'm talking and get on autopilot, and I'm not even doing it in the right order. Anyway, so I got the primer on. <clears throat> and now I'm going to do my foundation. And I'm using my Neutrogena. Um, anyway, so yeah, when I, was a, when I was a teenager, you know, I've... A lot of... I lived in a, well, it's now a much bigger town, but when I was growing up, it was a very small town of Puyallup. And back when I was a young teen, um, you know, they had some, they had bookstores there that carried some new age books, but most of the books they had were either the really thin, you know, volumes of like some of the Amber K books or, uh, I think there was some Cunningham books, I don't remember. But they were just like the cliff note type, you know, little skinny books. And uh, I remember, uh, yeah, you'd never find anything like that in the libraries, obviously. We're, you know, we're in western Washington, but there's a lot of farms around here, so it's kind of, you know, I don't know, it used to be more rural. 
and it used to be a lot more uh, bigoted. I think it still is to a point. It's unfortunate, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I used to hang, you know, so I had very limited knowledge as a young, as a young teen. Didn't have access to really, you know, a lot of good, reputable authors. Um, and, uh, I got in with a group of friends that, they were wannabes. And I, when I say wannabes, I'm talking about people who claim to have all of this vast knowledge and experience and they're probably maybe like a year older than you and they're messing with things that they don't understand they don't know anything about shielding protection anything like that they're just you know yeah and a lot of crazy stuff happened as a result that being said so you know that was my one of my negative experiences but i've also witnessed I've, I've witnessed people being told that their mental illness is a result of their not practicing their faith hard enough. And to me, that is so irresponsible and reckless to say that to someone, especially when they're dealing with a mental illness or, you know, some mental, Ill, you know, brain injury or anything like that. You know, when, when, oh, we really got to... Mm. We need to destigmatize the crap out of this because I am so sick of people doing that. I think the more people, the more we destigmatize mental illness, the less easy it will be for people of power in any situation, whether it's a small group or a large church, um, it would make it less difficult for people of power to use that power to abuse the people around them. So anyway, that's just but yeah, um, and I've had good experiences too. I'm not saying that all groups or all churches or all, you know, whatever gathers has people like this. I think there's probably a good chance that most groups have at least one person in their group that's good, that, that could be like that. But, you know, it's not the general norm, I think. Anyway. My mom sent me a really cool care package. She got me this really cool, and I love it. She got me one of those. I don't know if you guys have seen them online. They're, they're like this little thing, and you, and you press it against your face, and it has a suction to it. It's like a little vacuum, and it's supposed to suck the blackheads out of your skin. And I used it a little bit. I, d I haven't had really a lot of blackheads lately, but I do sometimes get them pretty bad. So, you know, it was kind of cool to check it out. The only thing I learned is that you don't want to leave it in one spot for too long because I've got this little streak here from doing it too slow. And essentially, I have a hickey <laughs> on my face from this poor vacuum thing. <laughs> but other, you know, but if you use it right, it works great. I love it. But yeah, I just it was like you know, lesson learned there. <laughs> so yeah, actually, gonna put a little bit more. Where's my mirror? Anyway. Oh, and I'm starting to sell, I'm going to be selling Mary Kay online. I'm not going to be like advertising. I'll, I'll use Mary Kay products and demonstrate them in videos, but my videos are not going to be solely Mary Kay. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of different brands because, uh, you know, there are some things in Mary Kate I absolutely love and some things I love in other brands better. You know, it's just a matter of taste. But anyway, so, you know, if you see something in one of my videos that is Mary Kay and it's something that you do want to get more information on, you're always welcome to message me privately. Um, you know, or just say something in the comments so that I can contact you. I just won't be posting like prices or you know anything like that I'm not gonna be advertising it just simply going to be demonstrating the products that I do get I'm mostly doing this just so I can get my own products at half off but if I make a little money out of it too then that's cool you can always use extra money 
here. Pretty broke here. All right, I think I've done enough there. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Oh, mirror. It's a heavy mirror. One of these days I want to get ones, one of those ones that's just like the metal frame and the mirror. And you just turn it. It doesn't have, because this one's heavy because it has the light on it. But the light isn't that bright. So it doesn't really help. Okay. So I'm going to be doing my greens today. Got my green tank top on. It's a little wet on the front because I got it wet when I was washing my face. Alright, so this part I need to put my glasses on so I can grab the right brushes. Which I have over here. Let's see here. Use that for blush. brushes. I need a stain on that. And then a blending brush. Where is that blending brush? There it is. Okay. Alrighty. So, we're doing, today we're doing the Time Stone palette. see the different colors. Uh, looks like these two are shimmers. The rest of them are mattes. Or so, I'm sorry. These two are shimmers. The rest of them are mattes. Uh, except, obviously, the middle one. Yeah. So. So I'm thinking, yeah, so I'm going to use this screen right here as kind of like an outer highlight. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to fix something real quick. Off real quick. Okay. Eye primer. Little dabble do ya. I don't know what that's from. I just heard it from a commercial years ago. Little dabble do ya. Well, I've got concealer. I'm going to use this as primer for my eyes, too, to kind of lighten it up a bit. Hopefully make the color stand out a touch.
sorry. But <laughs> anyway. Now I'm going to go in with a really dark one down here. And this one I'm just going just under the brow bone. So it gets that nice line. And I'm just going to pull it down. Gently though, yeah, try to pull skin. I'm just getting tired. And I'm not really worried about the lines right now, except for the one at the top, because anything down here I can clean up. I usually do. So. Just want to make sure everything's blended well. I know it's super dark. I'm probably going to clean up a lot of the inside too, but let's just find that right now. So I think I'm going to use this one right here on the inside a little bit just to lighten it up a bit. Might mix it. I think I'm going to mix it a little bit with the yellow too. I'm going to mix the two of them. clean my brush first, huh? That's okay. That's what Q-tips and pads are for. So I got these little pads. And I can also... Where'd my sponge go? sponge just a little bit in the corner there just to touch this up because I wasn't trying to make it darker Okay, that helped. Yeah, okay. So, 
back to what I was doing. There it is. All right, so I'm going back this way. I think I'm actually just going to go with the yellow. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit and then I'll use my middle color and get it looking good. doing this I'm just doing it real gently I'm not trying to push down hard I'm thinking I'm going to use this one. Sorry, this one. Ooh, that's kind of nice and bright. to dust some off, see if it, how much comes off. I'm just doing it very gently, I'm not trying to wipe it off, I'm just gently trying to get excess off. Down here I might push a little bit harder, but just barely. Okay. And now I am going to do a little bit under the eye, a little brush for that. So I'm going to put a little bit of this with the brush as kind of like an eyeliner, although I do have green eyeliner I'm probably going to add to, and then um, I'm going to use a little bit of the shimmer under eye too. are going to hurt later. Totally worth it though. Having fun. Okay, okay and now I'm just going to use a little bit of the shimmer. Shimmer. 
watching it. Oh, I miss Doctor Who. They used to have it that if you had Amazon Prime, you could watch Doctor Who for free. Now you have to pay, and it is the only place that has it in, in the United States. Netflix doesn't have it anymore. Uh, Hulu doesn't have it. I wish so much it was available. it is right now I get my my doctor who fixes on uh, YouTube little YouTube clips okay and then eyeliner there it is. Well, I'm not sure I need it no I should have pretty much covered it I think I mean I think I could add some dark green. brown mascara. Oh, I gotta stretch my legs out. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. So I got this Bobbi Brown mascara. It was from the Ipsy bag my friend gave me. So, let me smell. Whenever you have to reload your mascara wand, never pump, twist. Just pump it, it gets air in it, it'll dry out faster, it'll go bad faster. So always twist to reload. In case nobody's ever told you that. up my under eyes. And I'm doing this real gently, just going layer by layer because I don't want to cover up the green. But I do want to kind of tighten it up a bit. I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just dabbing a little bit and then kind of smearing it on the so I'm not getting globs on my eyes since I tend to do that. Oh. Definitely gonna feel this later.
under eyes done. Now I am putting on some blush. I didn't need my mirror. Well, I can put my gloss on. That helps. No, not really. <laughs> One of these days I'll get contacts. We're just waiting for the next stimulus. I made a rule that would, when we get our next stimulus, all of us are getting our eyes examined and getting new contacts slash glasses slash whatever. I mean, I know this is more of like a bronzer, not a contour. Contours are supposed to be more of a, kind of like have a gray undertone to it. But I just really love this color on how it looks on me, so that's what we're going with. And then I've got this blush. This blush. It's this. <laughs> this one I do like on my, on my cheeks. This is the bronzer stuff again. I'm just putting a little bit in my hairline. Okay. So I'm going to touch up under my eyes. I think I will use powder for that. Powder. Alrighty, what do we got left? Powder my eyes, that's what we got left. Ooh, eyebrows. So I'm using this little eyebrow gel. Fuck a few up there. All that's left of that stuff. Let me do and highlighter. Let me double check. All right, we have done blush, mascara, powder. That. Yeah, lips and highlighter. That's it. And then I can show you what what my mama sent me.
So, nine busy lips. Pink busy lips. Alright. I'm resting my mirror on my knee. So, got my line, lips lined, and then I can show you, well, I can actually show you another thing my mom got me. I'm so excited. So, this. Matte lipsticks. How cool is that, right? All these different shades. So, I, I'm going to kind of go with... It has the names of the shade on here. I'll have to look. It is, well, it says number two. And they're from Tiasun. T E A Y A S O N. Tiasun. Uh, anyway. So this one. So you can see it's a very nice matte shade. Hmm. Smell a little weird. Maybe I'm just not used to it. I don't know. Where'd the lid go? There it is. So anyway, that's what they look like. H1. And then I'm going to use my Mary Kay lip gloss. Kind of bring it together. The lip gloss is got a, a frost to it, and it's called, I should know this, Fancy Nancy, I think. I think it's Fancy Nancy. But it's really nice. It's got a pink shimmer to it. Feels really good on the lips. The lipstick itself, it's, it's a matte, and as you put it on, it's not real creamy. It's very waxy, but I also kind of like that because it means it's not going to just smudge off. I mean, I think it actually, like, will stay on my lips better. So we'll see. Okay. <laughs> so now I get to show you Ooh, what my mama got me. Okay. So first of all, let's prepare here. Hold on. Air washed and dried now that I got lipstick all in them. Anyway. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Isn't it cool? I love it. 
<laughs> okay, let me read your tarot cards, and then we'll call it good. Oof, here, everywhere. I think this look turned out really cute. Turn, turn, turn. Show us the lesson that we should learn. If you know what that's from, you're awesome. Alright, today's card is Seven of Swords. Some of these cards are going to be repeats, I think. And I think that's one of them, but, you know, that's okay, because that's just the card that's meant for today. Okay. Seven of Swords. Living up to one's ideals isn't always easy, especially when those ideals are controversial. Sometimes those around us don't agree with our decisions or values. Sometimes they disagree because we are making a mistake. When you are fa facing such a moment, don't focus on what others think. Don't try to make a decision based on what you think will happen. This is a moment when your ideals, what you hold dear, take precedent. It is best advice to first make sure you are very clear you are clear about your beliefs. Check your heart and make sure your intentions are pure. If you sincerely ask for guidance, the divine usually provides a sign letting you know you are on the right track. Once that is settled, move forward with confidence. And that is our reading for today. So, I hope you all had a great day. I hope you enjoy what nice weather we can muster up um yeah go out there and be magical to each other love you all bye